Uh, we about to go in the kitchen, wrist twisting like a stir fry. It is time to eat. I hope you're hungry, cause I am. Celebrity chef Jannard Wells joins us to cook a healthy breakfast for us. First and foremost, welcome to BNC, my brother. Good to have you on here. What's good? What's good, man? Ooh. It's always great to be joining you guys. What? Look, what a great way to start the morning to kick me with you and the whole gang over oh, at BNC. Yeah, we love to see it. We love to have it, man. Hey, man, I, I know how you get down in the kitchen. Your work is well known in the community, man. I, I hear you got the good recipes, uh, good health conscious recipes that still taste good. How do you make that happen? See, it's it's all it's about all about flavor and blending just fresh ingredients together, spice to get that nice good reaction. And what we got here. Mike is we're gonna do uh we're gonna do a butternut squash skillet. See, a lot of times people when they when they mm. when they mm. cook these skillets, uh we want to use like our potatoes, like potato hash and things like that. So instead of the potatoes, we're gonna use butternut squash, and instead of like your ground pork or your ground sausage, we're gonna use here what we got is some impossible ground. Now, I know a lot of people that heard about the Vegan okay. Impossible Burger, but we got the Impossible mm -hmm. Ground for you. It's going to get you right. Mm. All right, all right. I mean, it looks good already, Chef. I'm I'm ready for oh, all oh, of it. It, it, you're, is, you're... it is real simple. It's real simple. Yeah. All you need is just get you a nice, good cast iron skillet. Now, I know, Mike, they was, uh, I heard rumors they were saying that you, you was want to you was want to kick your cooking skills to the next level, so make sure you get your oh. get your nice good cast iron skillet in your arsenal. Impossible oh, ground. Hold on, chef. Hold on, nice chef. Who, who, who don't have what black person? Hold, hold on, chef. What what black person doesn't have a black cast iron skillet? Everybody's grandma got a black cast mm -hmm. iron skillet that they used to make the the. You remember the butter uh, buttermilk cornbread? You put that in the oven and come on, man. You don't know. Okay, you. okay. You know you mess with me. Chef, it's, it's the Black <laughs> News Channel, we, we BMC. We ain't going to take your kitchen card from you then. <laughs> I want to know, you know, here. one time I did, Chef. Go ahead, Chef. Tell us what you got. No, I was just going to tell you what I, what I blended together. It's the Impossible Ground, the onions, the garlic, bell peppers, and now the butternut squash. But go ahead and let me know what you was about <laughs> to share with me. Well, a, a couple of things. Um, you know, I can't fry chicken, so you'll have to come over and give me a lesson after the pandemic because I, I fried it for this guy I was really interested in. He spit it out, and I never saw him again. Never saw him again, Chef. Oh. Um, it's either too well done or you bite into it, and ugh, you don't want that. Um, but that's another show. You are known by your yeah. fans as the young Barry White of food, and I want to know where that came from. You know, is it because you... You cook it slow and low. Is that why, Chef? <laughs> hey, th that could be very well. And that was a, a <laughs> thing that was coined to me years ago, the young Barry White of food. At one point, they even started calling me the Luther Vandeross of food. But as you can see, mm, I'm working right. on losing that weight so I don't have to be big Luther no more. I can be skinny Luther. You look gorgeous. <laughs> you're, you're great. You're fantastic. You do, man. But I've always learned you that, do. you know, Food, food and love goes hand in hand, and that's one of the that's oh one God. of the biggest things when it comes to to blending because we know the focal point of everything that we we've, we've always created and done in life was always mm. around food. Those special days where mm -hmm. where hey you get a job promotion, it's about food. Let's go out to eat to celebrate. We're getting married. We're focused on the reception. Let's let's go out and have a have a great meal. You know, hey, if the food at the reception is bad at, at a wedding, they'll leave from the wedding says the worst wedding they ever been to, and it shouldn't even have anything to do with food. That's how food is truly tied in to everything we mm. do, and that's why we love our grandmothers, our mothers cooking because it's about bringing people into your world. Now, as you see, this skillet is real cool, simple. Check it out right here. After you saute, bring everything that. in mm. together. You're gonna crack eggs, set them in the center. Preheat your oven to 375. Then we're gonna pop Oof. this bad boy in the oven for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 this minutes. is how it's gonna look right here. This is a good oh, breakfast man. dinner. It's light, it's hearty. It, it's hitting all those notes just to get you started on your day. Man, well, that, Chef, that you're looks in Atlanta, I'm delicious. in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Okay, and okay. I'm just thinking <laughs> it can be delivered, right, Chef? 
That's warm, right? Hey, look, and they'll give you my address. Right you bring it right over door. here. Deliver right to your front yeah, door. Yeah, I'm ready for that. Check this out. Well, Check I'll be in Atlanta next I week. I just want to come by. Oh, look at that. All right, look. I got you, oh my Mike. Gosh. I got you. I got you, Mike and Sharon. We got what you need. I help. Mm. Mm. You just going to eat it right look, in our face. Thing is, you can't like, even right tell there, like, that this is all mm-hmm. vegan. You getting that? Yeah. Look, you getting that that nice onions coming out? You hit it with a little cracked black pepper, a little sea salt, mm. just a mm. little bit to open up that flavor profile, mm. and you ready? Mm. You just gonna eat I right would say I'd cook on. for you just... one day, Chef, but nah, that wouldn't work out too well. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I love. Might as well admit it. I cook so much. Hey, I like when somebody else wouldn't step in the kitchen with me. Hey, okay, hey, Chef, I'll you got a lot of people that can step Sunday. in the kitchen with you. got a lot of people that you have to cook for. <laughs> uh, you got nine kids, bro. Any, any of your nine kids oh. got any uh, culinary skills before we let you go? Yes, they do. Actually, um, my, boy, my boys really love cooking in the kitchen. You know, because it, it started with me at a young age. When I was 10 years old, my mother told me, hey, you got to get in here and learn how to cook. You ain't guaranteed to get married and have somebody cooking for you. You better learn how to do it oh. yourself. And also, my father had mm. me cooking with him. And what I learned, that was a way that he used that time to spend quality time with me. And so that's oh. what I do with mm. my boys and my and my daughters. They just picked it up. Just It's almost like it was a first hand for them. They naturally picked it up. It was my boys. But now we all get in the kitchen and chop it up together, especially on Friday night is when we have that family mm. time. And we just, whatever it is that you want to create, Fridays in my household is the day that everybody come together and whip up all kind of different dishes. Well, that is, uh, that's another show. Okay. And so stick around. Mm -hmm. Celebrity chef Jannar Mm -hmm. Wells is coming back to tell us about what else he has going on right now. That's next on Start Your Day. Boy, that looks good, chef. Mm, mm, mm. Mm Mm-hmm. Welcome back. Can you smell it? I mean, it just, if only we could taste it from here. It looks so good. We're back know, with celebrity right? chef Jannar Wells, right? I mean, we need some of that. Chef, it does seem like, um, mm. you know, you, you talked about your roots in cooking and where you got your skills from, where it all began. And now you're cooking with your own kids. Tell us about your new show, because it's nothing you can't do. And it's family fun. Yes. Yes. New, new Soul Kitchen is one of those shows that I, I teamed up with Clio TV, which is the sister network of TV One. But Clio TV is a, a design for millennial women and men of color. And I've always wanted to create food from our perspective. And what I create with New Soul Kitchen is dishes that I consider to be Southern modified, whereas Southern modified dishes that we've grown up eating and love, and love but they inspire for today's healthier lifestyle but also I give them to you in a fraction of the time where I'm showing you how to create meals that normally would take you take you 45 minutes to an hour alone to create. I'm showing you how to create them in 30 minutes or less. Hmm. And of course you're doing it with a lot of swagger. We have guests coming on. I mean, uh, Sharon and I are available if you want us to come on and be, if you want us to be your guinea pigs. I mean, I'm Long pretty sure we'll cooking. volunteer for that. Hey. You, look, you, you're more than welcome. Hey, we're going to make sure we roll out that red carpet for you. But trust me, you won't be the guinea pig. I believe that when you step in Chef Janine's kitchen, y- y'all going to have to y'all gonna have to break out them chopping skills. Wherever you at, that's where I'm going to meet you at. And whatever signature dish that you got, that's the dishes that we're going to turn out. Because it's about the culture of food, the culture of life, and mm-hmm. me experiencing you. Because that's one of the things when I have my guests on and when I'm cooking, it's about having people come into your world and experience your food and the essence of you. Because no two people cook the same dish, the same, they can have the exact same Mm -hmm. recipe, but I guarantee it's gonna taste different, Mike, because it's all about the individual that's fixing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're gonna meet us where we are, do you have any, I'll use a butter knife, but I'll help you as best I can, chef. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Look, you're not I'll fooling try. me at all, Sharon. I know you can whip it up in the kitchen. You just, okay. you just, you what, what, what they call them closet cooks. She cooked great food, but don't share it with the world. Uh, she cooks yeah. good food for the guy she wants to stick around. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that's, 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 hey, that's a ploy to get look, rid of somebody. That, Act like you can't cook. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, know, I know, right? Because the saying is still true. The quickest way to anybody's heart is through their stomach. I don't care what people can say. Oh, that's mm -hmm. just a myth. But it, it it it's real talk. Hey, when I first met my wife, that was my pickup line. Hey, mm -hmm. I know how to cook. Let me cook for you. Because I knew if I cook something great, I would at least keep her around and keep her engaged long <laughs> enough to get to know me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, yeah. it was the pickup that's line that's a beautiful hey. love story yeah that's a beautiful love story yes, and then you know for, for the rest of us we want your book we want a lot of stuff from you a lot more from you yes and, and look I, my latest book as a matter of fact is Southern Modified and Southern Modified you mm. can get it it's available at Amazon or on my website haltcuisine.store but most importantly, one of the things that I did with Southern Modified, I, I truly, I and my co-author, Denise Boutte, we created recipes that were from, from gumbo, from baked fried chicken, because one of the things mm. I'd always love was fried chicken, but I modified it mm -hmm. where I cooked a lot of the fat out, but I still got that beautiful crust that I loved on the outside so that I can start impartaking more healthier foods in my life to see a better mm -hmm. return on my weight loss. And thus far, I've dropped 63 pounds during the pandemic because uh -huh. I used to mm. be a whole lot bigger than where I am now. But I really took this time during the pandemic to truly just focus on wow. myself. And I was like, hey, as flights and business and, and production sets starting to get slowed up and canceled, I said, you know what? This is a time for me not to use living in living out of hotels and jumping in and off of planes as a reason why my weight is out of control. Mm -hmm. Let me focus on myself. So I bought, I went and bought the family bikes. We started bike riding. Me and the wife, we mm -hmm. started going on trail walks and jogging and then ultimately changed what I was putting in my body, how mm -hmm. I reduced the fried foods out of my diet. I reduced the sugar. You know, those kind of things like that. I even lowered the intake of sodium just to overall get a better feeling mm -hmm. me. And and right now I'm feeling good, man. And and I'm and I'm still going down. Yeah, and, and you're eating, and that's good because you have to eat to survive, but you gotta eat clean and health is wealth and all that. Yeah. Uh and, and before we let you go, because you, you did cook that squash dish for us and look tremendous. It was mm -hmm. beautiful. Uh and, and by the way, the recipe is gonna be on BNC uh TV for anybody that wants to get that squash dish. But what if you don't like squash real quick? Because I, I don't really like squash that much. I don't like the texture. Can I substitute anything for that? <laughs> yes, you can. If you don't like squash, you can substitute the squash for sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes will give you that same essence as well, and they're not as starchy as using just your regular baking potatoes. Because that's one of the reasons why this dish typically calls for your traditional baked potatoes. But what you want, what I'm wanting to educate people is on lowering the starch intake that's going in our body. Because, you know, once you consume starch, or the more starch you consume as it breaks down, it turns into sugar in your body. So things mm -hmm. usually incorporating like butternut squash or sweet potatoes will be a little more standard down. And then you'll still get that, as, that, that healthy accent. And as well, hey, you could do some roasted beets in there if you're in the beef, Mike. Well, you know what, Chef? If, if you're a better man than me. If it were me, I'd tell him no substitutions. This is what we cooked, and this is what you're going to eat this I do morning. that for him when he but, comes to my restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? But, hey, we love having you. Uh, again, the recipe is going to be on BNC, uh, our website, too. And, Chef Jannard, thank you so much. you got a beautiful family. Your food is delicious. Yes. And I can't wait till you know, we can... Um, partake in some, okay? So thanks so much. Keep oh, doing what I you do, Chef. This We're is right just back. one of many recipes. <laughs>